If bicycling is the key, I like to ask, what does it unlock? What's up, everybody? I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More, and today I am in Austin, Texas at Critical Mass, and I am with a special guest all the way from San Francisco. But before we get started, remember, we post all the rides on Instagram. We just hit 2,700 followers, and I want to say thank you, and remember to follow if you're not already, because it makes you feel good. Mm. This is Chris. They tell me you are one of the co-founders of Critical Mass. The rumor is true. The rumor is true. Okay. Uh, first, I got to make a shout out to Matulu in, in Houston, who I met years ago, and I'm glad to hear you're still rolling along in Houston. So shout out to everybody at Critical Mass in Houston, but him especially. Um, so Critical Mass begins in 1992 officially, but there's a lot of, it's a long story about how it came to happen because it's based on the fact that we had a pretty thriving bike culture around bike messengers. We also had a bunch of people that were showing up to protest the first Gulf War on bikes and were scouting for the large marches, which were 150,000 people in San Francisco in the streets protesting the war day after day for months during the first Gulf War, which only lasted for a month, as it turned out. So all of these things are part of it. But then it goes even earlier, which we have a long history in San Francisco of anarchistic organizing on a basis of affinity groups and small community groups who get to know each other and take action together without being organized into a larger organization, whether political party or formal movements or anything. And so we have a political history of knowing how to self-organize. And that was important because when we started doing this, it was in my office at the time, we were still publishing an underground magazine called Processed World. And it was about the underside of the information age when it was just beginning, as told by the alienated wage slaves of the modern office, people like us. And so that reality was part of what informed us. And we were already thinking about bicycling as a political act. And we were in conversation in the office all the time about that reality. And so we were discussing that. We were smoking a lot of pot and drinking a lot of beer and gin and tonics. And that was just the world we were in. And so people were dropping into the office to smoke and to hang out and discuss. And a lot of them were bike messengers. Other people were just daily commuters like me. And then after a, you know several months in the clouds, literally, we uh, the idea emerged. Who thought of it first? Nobody knows. But the idea emerged. Why don't we just get together once a month and ride home together in a group and meet it? And the geography of San Francisco makes it easy because we have the, the Market Street is the main boulevard through the city. And, Almost all cyclists had to go up Market Street and to make their turns off of it to get home. So we just start at the foot of Market Street and in an organized coincidence, ride home. I appreciate the history lesson and the information. A lot of stuff that I didn't know. I'm sure a lot of people out There's there didn't know. There's a lot more than that, but I'll just leave it there. For people that are out there that are interested in riding bikes, for people in the cars that see, people, see the critical mass, what do you want to say to them? Well, I think it's a great idea to ride a bike. It's the first step. And you have to understand that, you know, a lot of us who have been bicycling and identify as bicyclists are now in this confusing situation in San Francisco where there's no bike movement anymore to speak of. We had, we're on the 30th anniversary this year of critical mass in San Francisco. We have a lot of bike infrastructure now. There's bike lanes all over the place, separated from traffic in their own corridors with curbs and parked cars on the other side of them and everything. It's far better than it once was. It's still very far from adequate. It's better than it was, it's better than here, it's better than most places, it's terrible. Because the reality of the matter is we need to take at least 10% of the space that's dedicated to cars and dedicate it to other uses. And in my opinion, we should take a lot more than that. We should dig up half of every street and turn them into linear farms and start growing our own food in cities. We have to rethink water, rethink you know, energy. Everything has to be done differently. And everything we do in this society is breaking the world. And we have to stop breaking the world. And a bicycle's a great first step but if bicycling is the key, I like to ask, what does it unlock? Chris, I really appreciate the message. I know that you have a book. How can people find you? Uh, the easiest way to find me is chriscarlson.com, and then you can read cc at chriscarlson.com is my email, and Carlson is spelled with two S's, C-A-R-L-S-S-O-N. Any other messages or any other shout outs you want to give? I'm really happy that there's this kind of energy here in Austin. I didn't, I've never been in Texas before. I'm just 48 hours into my stay, and uh, I'm delighted to find out how many wonderful, convivial people are here already experiencing what happens when you open up a public space to think differently and share the world in a different way without having to buy and sell things, without having to 
be for sale yourself. We're here as free people. Thank you so much. Special thanks to Rama for holding the camera today. I appreciate that. We're going to raise bicycle awareness one person at a time. I'm Luke for Ride Bikes More, and we are out.